Max Blair is in his rookie year driving the full World of Outlaws programme in dirt late models. Now age 32, he was virtually born at the racetrack. I've just raced my entire life. My dad raced. I think he started racing when he was 14, so my whole life I went racing with him, and uh, just, I started driving when I was 15, and I think this is like my 18th year in a car or something like that, so it's all I've ever done. Oh man, rookie contender Max Blair wins at Cherokee. Blair competes in a V8 Chevrolet powered rocket chassis for the 111V Viper Motorsport team. While the world of outlaws take their dirt show all over the USA, late models are a little different to the mainstream of racing. I guess everybody's normal is a little different, right? Um, this is my normal and I go to a, an asphalt track. That stuff looks different to me. I've never drove an asphalt car, so I guess I don't really have nothing to compare it to. This is all I've ever really done is the dirt stuff. And um, I guess I, I did hot lap an asphalt car one time, that was terrible, so I uh, had a hard time keeping it straight. Despite the grueling schedule of more than 60 races between January and November, Blair is in his element on the dirt. But he appreciates that others have transferred the undoubted skill needed to race on the surface all the way to the NASCAR Cup Series. Well, it seems like in today's world, a lot of the guys coming from dirt are really succeeding in the, the upper levels too. You know, I mean, obviously Kyle Larson is the first person you look at. You know, that dude's, he's probably the best person to ever sit behind the wheel of a race car. The likes of Cup Series champion Larson often boost the fields of the big World of Outlaws events, and they don't come much bigger than the Dirt Car Nationals in Florida in March. This deal down here is the best of the best. Every good car in the country is here pretty much, so it's a, it's a real deal. I've been here before and seen Tony Stewart. I've been here and seen Clint Boyer. You know, them guys, obviously Kyle Larson, you know. When it comes to dirt late model racing, next to the Eldora stuff, this is about as big as it gets. Blair brings his son to the track just as his own father did. There's a good chance there'll be a third generation racer before long. And dad is certainly setting a great racing example on the Outlaws Tour. He's challenging at the top of the national standings, looking very good for Rookie of the Year honors and winning races. This is my first year um, really being out on the road doing it at this level. We've raced our way in each of the Outlaw sanctioned races with the competition we're racing against. I'm, I'm very happy with that. I hope I don't jinx myself, but so far we, we've been competitive and uh, for my first time doing this, that's all I can really ask for right now. Into turn number three, only the third driver this year has won two races. This is that driver and it is Max Blair. He'll win at Bloomsburg.